I'm so mad. Okay, so I guess YouTube is sending notifications today. I see two people, three people. Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. Hey, Deborah. Hey, Deborah. Hey, Deborah. Hey, Deborah. Let me turn this down, child. Okay. Who else is here? Hey, Moth Mama. Please rotate back. Hey, Ebony. How y'all doing? I took my nails off and my fingernails looking all crazy. So, the weekend, if y'all saw them, if you didn't see that video... Please go back and watch that video because we're going to do a series on our house buying journey. So, if you missed the last video, please go back and watch that and, you know, make sure you give me a comment or a thumbs up or something because that uh, really does help uh, the engagement for the channel. So please make sure you go back and watch that because we're going to be making videos until we get this house. Now I don't I hope some people don't think that in the video we said we already got the house. We don't have the house yet. We just went we just met with our realtor for the first time and she took us around looking at uh I think we saw five, four or five places. So, she just took us around looking at places for the first time. So, it was the first time meeting the realtor. And it was our first time officially, you know, like having an appointment and everything. Uh, private viewings for places. So, you know, it that was just so special to us because it's like real, real now. You know, this is like the ball is finally... Um, I got this wig cap on because I'm going to be trying on a couple of wigs. But the ball is finally moving. So, I just want you guys to know that we don't have the house yet. But, um, but um, hopefully soon, we will. Thanks, Ebony. The last video that I did, Moth Mama, it's a regular video. No, we see, we didn't find the house yet. Not yet. We just went and looked. We just went and looked at, girl, we were serious about them people. Um, I mean, we are very serious about the neighborhood that we live in because you know, the grandkids are probably going to start coming and, you know, staying with us more often. And we don't want to be in a crazy neighborhood. Like, that house was so cute. The house was, I don't want to say perfect, but it was, it had so much of what we wanted. But you could look out of your living room window across the street and see a bunch of people just hanging out and, you know, drinking and smoking and just being loud for just no reason. And, you know, like no one wants to know when you paying a mortgage 
and you know you keeping things up you, you don't want that that's an eyesore you don't you don't want to even live around stuff like that that's going on and if if like if we came during the day and saw all that going on <clears throat> so i can only imagine what it's like at night Ebony said, yeah, you really made me think of something that I never thought of with the neighborhood. Oh, girl, yeah, you got to be looking at what's going on in your neighborhood. And, you know, we, before we moved out of the townhouse that we were staying in, it wasn't in the most perfect area. It was, you know, it was in a urban let me put it i'm gonna use the word that y'all be that y'all be using to make stuff really not sound bad so it was in an urban area it was in uh it was in an area that was being gentrified but it was still an urban area and right next to us was some apartment uh complexes was like a two two level apartment complex and i think it was like seven or eight apartments on each level was on one side of us and then and then there was a house and then there was another apartment complex with probably about 20 um units but believe it or not that place was quiet it was the other place because i think it was a hood house a hood um, apartment regulated by hood. Everybody that lived there was loud and just loud. And my neighbors were loud. Like they had, I think like three or four kids and they were loud. Like they had remodeled the townhouse next to us and it had hardwood floors. And hardwood floors and small children don't get along. Them kids would be running and stomping and jumping and playing ball in the house. Just all kind of stuff. And I was, you know, me and my husband, you know, me and my husband, like, we in our 50s. We, we don't want to be hearing all of no extra ass noises and stuff you know we have gotten to that point especially me like i have anxiety and noise a whole lot of noise bothers me like it bothers me in my whole entire spirit to be hearing somebody throwing a ball up against the wall and you know running and hitting the walls and stuff that shit bothers me so you know we was like okay we got to get a house because we, neither one of us like noise. Like me and my husband are so freaking quiet. Gizmo probably makes the most noise out of the three of us. We are very quiet people. When we are around the house, like my husband being a man cave, you know, doing his video games and, um, animation and watching his videos and you know doing his own thing like you wouldn't even know he was here and i'll be in you know in the room watching youtube videos or you know doing what i'm doing or reading or whatever just like super quiet and then we'll come together and you know we laugh and kiki and stuff but we just quiet people and you know we got to live somewhere where um, it's a bunch of other quiet people because, hey, Reggie, that, that, uh, that get on my nerves, child. So, you got to look at your neighborhood. You got to look at, oh, yeah, the, the people next door to me had baby kids for real. You got to be looking at the neighborhood because, I, see, we should have known it was something when we pulled up and 
it like we got close to the house and it was somebody selling barbecue out their house. They had a big old smoker and a sign pointing to the house. Like so I guess they were selling the barbecue. They were smoking it outside. And then I guess you go up to the door to order. I don't know, child. It was a lot. Even a realtor was like, did you see the um, bar? Yeah, we was like, yeah, we saw that. Let me um close this window so you guys don't see that light. I meant to say door. I don't know why I said window. Okay, we're going to get started. Let's let's do this. Let me show you the wigs. I forgot something. Hold on. Okay. I didn't get the headband. I'm gonna put the little headband thing on now. So, after we trying to put it on when I put the wig on. So the first one we gonna do is Bella. Let me see what color is Bella. Bella is in a color is in the color four. So that's Bella. And if y'all know me, y'all know that I don't I don't like straight hair. I, I don't know. I just really don't like straight hair wigs on me. And I don't even know why I'm saying that because I don't even own a straight hair wig. So I don't even know how it would look. So I can't say it ain't going to look right on me when I've never, um, I never tried it. So, of course, they have the little netting. Um, is this the right way? Yeah. Um, they have the little netting, and I do keep all my hair nets. So, it's in the color four, so it's kind of like a brown, a dark brown. So, it's got the big cone and adjustable straps and then another big cone so we just gonna put bella on bella look kind of small oh i think because of the way the straps are i know you can adjust it but let's see because my head is really not that big let's see what bella Shoot, this almost look like a full wig. Because this is a half wig. And then we're going to put the headband on. To hide the band. Bella cute. Come on, Bella. Oh, this is real pretty. It feels like um it feels synthetic. This is one of those ones that now I could probably make some bangs, huh? If I knew how to cut bangs, I could probably cut some bangs, but I don't know nothing about cutting on here. Okay, this one is cute. I kind of like Bella. I like it. I don't know. I like big curls. I like to kind of fluff the curls out a little bit. Okay, Bella. I 
I do my little makeup and put on my little, um, yeah, Bella is cute. Bella is cute. Bella cute. I like the girls. She cute. She is cute, cute. All I got to do is make sure my little gray around the edges ain't showing. I do have that little stick thing to um, darken my gray around the edges. But yeah, Bella's cute. I'm going to wear Bella. So yeah, she's, she's true to her stock card. She is true to the stock card. She's cute. She looks just like... They did a good job on this one. Hers looks a little bit... Maybe it's not because it's coming down to below her collarbone. And that's where it's coming on me. And plus the curls are still uh, real tight. You know, because I've never worn it before. And your curls will drop down a little. So, it probably will eventually be a little... It's going to eventually be a little longer. And it's going to eventually be a little bit bigger, too. Because these curly hair wigs eventually get real um, fluffy once they start to get older. But I like this color. I like a, a color 4 on me. I really don't like dark... Um, I I'm really don't like natural black on me, but other people have said that the darker hair looks good on me. You know, we always see ourselves differently than other people. Like I like the darker browns and the, um, the the mixture of the darker browns and the lighter browns together. That's the color that I like. But people have told me that um the natural black looks good on me. I just I just don't see it. But you know, hey. So we like Bella. Bella is definitely a winner. And I think Bella was is the price on here? I don't think the price is on. Oh, no, it is. Bella was $34.99. Now, this wig was purchased at the beauty supply. Now, if you go on samsbeauty.com and type in Outre Half Wigs, and then type in Bella, I'm pretty sure Bella will be cheaper because the wigs are always cheaper online than they are in the beauty supply. So you may be able to find Bella for like $19.99 or uh, $20. It, they are much cheaper online than they are um, at the actual beauty supply. But, you know, I sometimes, I don't know why I took it all the way off. Um, sometimes I just enjoy um, going to the beauty supply. Yeah, and you can't even really see the line too much. I really think that I could, you know, finagle some bangs and, you know, work it out. But, you know, I ain't got to the point yet where I can cut wigs and do all of that, so... Um, I ain't gonna try that. So, Bella, Bella is a winner. I'm gonna push my wig cap back. Bella is a winner. I will definitely, um, now the only thing is, Bella looking a little thin. Bella look kind of thin. If the wind blow, the wind blow, you may be able to see see the uh see the cap now we don't want to be out in these streets and uh we don't want to be out in these streets and bella embarrassed me now bella you you can't do that girl 
You can't be, you can't embarrass your girl. You can't, you know, let the wind blow and then everybody know my business. So, Bella, you may just be my target wig or Walmart because you can go up in Walmart looking any kind of way and ain't nobody going to say nothing to you, child. Bella kind of thin, you know, to me. So, I do wrap them back up, put my uh, thing neck back on, and put them back in the original. I store them in the bag that they come in. So, this is the next one. This is penny now i'm gonna tell y'all now this wig is 26 inches and i didn't purchase it for the length to wear it down i purchased it for the length to wear it like up in ponytails and uh like half up half down um that type of thing because you know 26 inches, that's that's a lot of hair. That's a lot of hair. So, she is in color S430. And I think I have this same wig, just in a different color. don't look 26 inches to me. Oh, maybe it does. I take that back. It, yeah, it does. Huh? It look 20 something. Let me put my um... That's my family in there talking about football. They love to sit up and talk about football, child. I don't see how men just sit up. Well, I guess the same way that women... And see, this is the S... What did I say? S430. So, it is a brown and a darker brown mix. So let's put on Penny. And I usually put the comb in the back end first. And then uh, do the front. I think I, I got that from wearing, from uh, doing the headband wigs. It just makes it uh, a little easier to manage. And while we're talking about wigs, I am going to give you guys an update on my human hair uh, headband wigs that I purchased from Love Me Hair. I'm trying to get this comb up under this wig cap. There's a lot of hair. But when I put it up, I think it's going to be cute. You know, I'm mad because somebody just went outside. Yeah, there's a lot of hair. It's cute, though. I like it. And I know that because it's that curly, uh, real curly hair, it's going to get big like I like it. I love the, 
you know, fullness of curly hair wigs. But what I normally do is... And then you put you can put on a cute ur headband, make sure it's covered in the back. And you got yourself a nice little full um ponytail. You just get it to how you want it. Put it up. Fix your little edges. There you go. Because I do like it up. I don't. I'm not wearing it for all of that length. That's it. Girl, I need to do my nails. Tina here? Hi, Tina. And that's it. I And I love the bouncy. And it ain't, these don't, they don't stay bouncy, bouncy. Once the curls get real big. And, but this is one of the reasons why I get longer wig so this will be my you know throw it up in a ponytail or you know you can put it in a bun or whatever so this will be my bun um either throw it in a ponytail or you know pineapple tuck and pull some ringlets out you know, however you want to. And then you can put on one of your... Let's see. What colorful headbands do I have? Oh, you can wear one of these type of... The tube type. Headbands and... You know, do it high end for you, whatever you like. Or you can do it to the side, however you want to do it. But this is why I usually get the longer wigs. It's not just so I can be out here, you know, being Shaka Khan. But it's so I can, you know, put it up and then it's still full. Whereas, if I tried to put the other wig up because it's short, it wouldn't have given me this full ponytail, you know, like this one because it's 26 inches. So, if you like, um, if you, you know, if you don't, if you buy a wig and you don't really like long hair, you can do a up, half up, half down, you know, a bun or anything where you wouldn't be able to do that necessarily with a shorter haired wig. So, yeah, I love these. Now, now you probably don't want to put two of these on because this wig didn't get hot until I put the... 
second one on. But you can do that or you can, you know, do the little tie thing that I do and put the little bun uh, in the front. You can do all kind of things with a wig this long and this full. Because, like, if I'm just running to Target or to the post office or to Starbucks or whatever, and I don't want to be out here with my uh, natural hair, I'll just throw on my wig, Shaka. Because Shaka is my go-to ponytail or, you know, bun or whatever. I just throw Shaka on. And usually Shaka is still in the bun. I just take her off and, you know, put her to the side. And when I get ready to go throw her back on, she already in a ponytail. I put on a headband and go on about my business. So... And let me see, does she have a price? Same price, $34.99. So I bought both of these uh, the same day. I haven't purchased any uh, new human hair wigs. I said I wanted to try a human hair wig from Amazon. But I haven't um, ordered it yet. And this is lemon water. And this is water with lemon juice. And just a little bit of organic honey. It's real good for you. I've been having a lot of uh, joint uh, pain. So... I'm trying to drink things to, you know, help relieve the inflammation. I'm pretty sure it's just arthritis. And it's probably my fault because I've probably eaten too many, uh, too much sodium. And it has probably caught up to my joints. So I meant to go to the store today to get some ginger. So I could make some uh, ginger tea or my fire tea, which is a ginger, cayenne pepper, and a little bit of honey. And I drink that and it, you know, helps to flush uh, the toxins and stuff out of the body. Tina said, Oakland water... <laughs> <laughs> lubricate your joints. I don't live in Oakland no more, though. We gone, girl. Oakland is, uh, what, 15 minutes away, depending on traffic. So, girl, we don't live in Oakland no more. And hopefully our next, um, hey, Lady Hather, hopefully our next, um, Zip code will be Sacramento. That is what I'm praying about. Oh, Phoenix says she just learned how to cut the lace and spray it down. Well, girl, you need to teach me. You need to teach me because I, I am so scared to buy a wig that I have to cut the lace because I'm... <laughs> I'm scared I ain't going to be able to lay it down. And when I go outside, I'm scared you're going to be able to see the lights. Like, that scares me. Like, the YouTubers that I be watching, and they are so meticulous about cutting the lace and making, you know, going outside, taking pictures, making sure that, you know, that you can't see the lace and you either lay the lace down, melt the lace, and all that kind of stuff. It has me so spooked that I'm not going to be able to do it correctly. So I've never done it. Like the the last time I went to the beauty supply, when I purchased these wigs, I went into the beauty supply and I was like, do you have any, because I wanted a human hair headband wig. That was what I wanted. And they were like, they only had one and it was straight. 
And I definitely didn't want that. So then she said, well, we have some human hair wigs, but they have lace. And I was like, ooh, no, girl. And it, and it wasn't even one of the human hair wigs that had the lace from ear to ear. It only had, like, lace right here because it was a curly hair wig. So it only had about this much lace. I still didn't even want to deal with that because I was scared that I wasn't going to cut it close enough. And it was going to look crazy. And I don't want to pay that kind of money for a wig and... I can't get it right. So, I left that wig there. I didn't. Girl, you know you can go to Walmart and wear, um, you don't have to be all cute at Walmart. That's who I, that's who I watch. That's who I watch, Phoenix. I, um, I heart, I heart cupcake. Is it cupcake or cake? It's something. That's who I watch. Oh, okay. Yeah, we could do a Zoom because I need to check, uh, test my uh, Zoom thing out anyway. Alafia, tell her like it is. Can you tuck? No, you can't tuck the lace. You you got to know what you're doing. You can't you can't hide the lace. You can't. <laughs> Once you cut, no, you can't like, you can't like tuck the lace up under the wig. No, you have to cut the lace off. You can't be doing no magic trick with that lace. You got to cut it and um, lay it right. Tina said, Walmart is coming as you are. It sure is. Girl, I don't, the lace is, the lace is what gives the wig and illusion of scalp you have to have that lace in order for your you to be able to part your wig so the lace gives the illusion of scalp in the parting area so it depends on what type of wig it is some wigs have a permanent part down the middle but some wigs have like this, the the whole circular part right here is lace. So you can, you know, part on your left side, part on the right side, part down the middle. Depending on what type of wig it is. So the, the lace is important. Now, I don't know why when they make the wigs, they don't just cut it off for you. I don't, I don't understand why you got to have that much lace all down here and then you got to cut it to way up here so i don't that part i don't know but i mean i do understand why there's lace on the wig because of the parting space and you want your you want the part to look like scalp you know, like you don't want to part the wig and then all you see is hair because that's not what your natural hair would look like. When you part your natural hair, you see scalp. So that's what the um, lace is for. Yeah, when it comes to when it comes to plucking in the parting space and plucking around the hairline to you know to give that part of the the wig a more natural i'm not good at that because i have that bob wig that i can't wear because i don't know how to pluck I, but i should use that wig as a practice uh, tool. I need to get a wig head, a wig uh, stand, and I'm just kind of waiting until you know until we move, because then I do want to have a more. When we move, like I'm gonna have a more professional setup. I'm gonna put up my lights, and uh, you know when I do these wig reviews, I'm gonna have my wig head, and you know it's going to be real, because. You know, I'm going to have, because uh, my husband bought me the whole set. Like, he bought me the camera for, was it my birthday last year? I don't know. Yeah, 
I think he bought me that camera for my birthday last year. And then he bought me the lights and a green screen. So, I got the whole setup. I just don't have enough space where we are now to put up everything. So, when we move, um, we're going to be doing it big, y'all. We're going to be doing it big, okay? We're going to have a green screen. We're going to have all kind of stuff in the back. We're going to be doing it, not on live, because I don't know if he can. I don't know. We'll figure it out, though. Yeah, I'm going to set my whole, I'm going to have my whole area set up. I want one of those little um, banners that, you know, have your channel name and all that kind of stuff, you know, in the background. I want a cute little background. I'm going to have my lights set up. My I'm going to be using my good camera because now I'm using my iPhone, but I want to use my good camera. And everything like when we move. Tina said I was thinking of putting two half wigs together to make one full one. How, Tina? How? If you pull the half wig up and wear it on your hairline, if it's curly, you can get away with it. Because you can pull some of the hair. Pull the wig all the way to the front. And then since it's curly, you can bring some of the hair forward to... You still got the plastic thing? Did it just fall, y'all? See, that's what you get for going live. <laughs> But other than that, I don't know how you're going to put two wigs together to make a full one. Just go buy your full wig, girl. They're all the same price, basically. Especially if it's a synthetic. If it's synthetic, they're all going to run around the same price. It's a lot of things that... I smell cornbread. I got distracted just that quick. I think my father-in-law made some cornbread. Because I know he was in there cooking. Oh, Phoenix said so you can customize it to your forehead. Yeah, but it's that still don't make no sense to me, though. Cut, cut it. Cut it down. And if the customer wants to customize it, just leave enough for them to, you know, if they have to cut it down a little bit more, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, and the only glue that I would want to use would be that... Um, what is it? That spray stuff. The um got to be. Got to be, because you could just use some water to get that off. Like I'm not using that other like wig glue. I'm not putting all that stuff on my hairline. I ain't trying to take my hair out. I ain't trying to do all that. But the got to be, can't you get that off with just water? Because I'm not trying to, um, I'm not, I'm, I'm like paying attention to y'all and I'm watching, uh, Kevin on stage now. Oh, it's real strong. Just the little spray that they be using or the, they have gel too. And I be seeing people like put the little gel on there and then um, hold it down with the rat tooth comb or lay it down with your, um, what is that thing? The head scarf, the edge 
tamer thing, like they tie it down with that. Use the gel and the spray. Moth Mama said her hand too small. The wig have the wigs have a adjustable strap in them. Did you adjust the strap? Because the back of my head, like I got a peanut head. My head is not that big. It may appear to be big because I have a round face. I have a round face and a peanut head. My head is not that big either, so you have to adjust adjust the straps on the inside of the wig if your wig has straps. But see, that's why I like the um, headband wigs because they are they are small. The the two the Love Me Hair, their company uses they they have been wigs are small you're not going to you're not going to be able to wear them if you have a big head they are not big head friendly at all they they are for people with not a whole lot of hair on their head and not a whole lot of head oh uh, Moth Mama said, yeah, I use the straps. I can wear child's hats. And so, okay, so my head ain't that small. Like, I can't wear you no know, kids. I can wear kids' sunglasses because I used to always be, like, throwing on my granddaughter's uh, sunglasses when she was little, but not there. No, you know what? I may be able to now that I don't have any hair. Now that my hair is short, I probably can because I my head is not that big. My face just gives the illusion of a big head because my face is so round. And I really do believe that that blood pressure medicine that I'm taking is making me gain weight because my face is chubby or like I'm looking at pictures of myself and I'm like my face is getting bigger. And my doctor, no, I will call him in a heartbeat and be like, I'm not taking this medicine no more because it's making me gain weight. And I can't deal with nothing that's going to make me fat. I'm not. And I done already bought my swimsuits and stuff for the summer. No, that's not going to happen. Yeah, love me. Um, As a matter of fact, I'm going to show it to you. I'm gonna show it to you. There, um, I'm gonna show you how small their um. I'm gonna have to put all this stuff up. Hold on, y'all. I didn't really feel like talking about um spirituality today so let me show you how small this cap is i'm about to take off the wig that i have on now it may not look small but it is because it's not deep. It's not deep at all. This is it. And it's not stretching much. This is the... What did they call this one? This is the mixed color... It's not the body, it's not the deep wave, because the other one I have is the deep wave. I'm not really sure which one this is, but if you look on their website and you look under mixed color, it's going to be this one. So I have this one, 
and that is human hair. And then I have the the deep wave. And this one is shorter. And and I haven't worn them in a couple of days. I haven't worn them in about a week. But all you got to do is spray uh spray it and put some leave-in conditioner or something on it and brush it a little bit and it will come back to life. Uh, and it better because I think both of these were 159 I think. I think the, the, the longer one was more expensive. Yeah, I think it was 180 And I think this one was 150 and it's probably time for me to wash it. And I have washed it before and it looks it looks really good. I mean, the hair is really soft. It's uh when you wash it and condition it, it comes back to life. I mean, it only looks kind of dry because I haven't had it on in a while, but as soon as you spritz her, spritz her up, she will come on back to life. But these human hair wigs are not big hair friendly. They're not. And I'm gonna put this on, and I'm gonna put it on and show it to you guys. They are not big hair friendly. Oh, I just took her off with the pony. See, this how I do my other wig. I just take it off, ponytail be attached. And when I put it back on, it, it's just ready to go. Usually when I wear this, the hairband wigs, I usually don't wear a um, wig cap, but I'm going to keep it on. Oh, I don't need this. Cause it's got a hairband. So this one has smaller combs than the uh, synthetic. Put that back. And I was like, "Ooh, if I had had my um, if I had still had my dreads, there was there would be no way in the world." I would have been able to get this wig on. I'd have had to send this back. And see, it's tight. I didn't even have to put the combs in. It's tight. I mean, not like, oh, it's going to give me a headache tight, but yeah. Sister girl ain't going. She ain't going nowhere. If I had my spray bottle, I would spray her down. But yeah. And you know, when you spray, you want some of that humpiness will go down after you spray it and brush it. That's probably how I had it laying in the um, box. But yeah, this is my little human hair girl. And how long have I had it? I think I got it the beginning of the year. I think I did. And I don't really get any... I may get a little bit of shedding when I wash it or, or comb through it, but I'm not the best comb, wig comber. Like, I really be out here combing these wigs like it's my hair. So, if I get any shedding, it's more... 
it's more than likely my fault. But yeah, honey. Um oh KK here. Hey girl. Um these human hair wigs, you pay for them. You know, you you're of course going to pay a little bit extra um for them. And if you take care of them, they should last you. Now she looking a little bewildered today, but if I had my spray and I sprayed her down. Now, this is the deep wave. And I'm not sure which curl pattern this is. This is one of those like wet and uh, wavy type. Because when you spray it down uh, with the conditioner and stuff, it has that wet and wavy uh, type. Uh, curl pattern is real curly and it's real the density on this wig is very thick this is uh i think they call it a high density uh wig and so this made me understand that i don't really like a high density like it's just too thick for my liking to wear down. Like, I never wear this wig down because it's just so much hair. Like, it's so thick to the point where it just looks unnatural to me. And I don't like that. So, I normally wear this in a ponytail or um, a bun. But, yeah, these are my wigs. I am enjoying uh wearing them because y'all know I dyed my hair and I don't like it so I'm waiting for the uh color to kind of go away my grandson's mother works at Sally's and she kind of told me to um, wash it with some Dawn uh, dish soap and, you know, get in the shower and put that on there and let it sit for a while and throw a little baking soda on there and that helps to uh, kind of strip the color. So my natural, I noticed that my natural color is starting to come back. It's not as crazy looking as it was uh when I first did it it is looking a little um brown er so it's starting to look better but oh I don't like it like the 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 box said bronze and yeah it turned my hair like some freakish blonde color and white like i guess my gray hair didn't take to the dye at all and the my regular hair lightened up and so it just made it look white almost and not white like platinum blonde it just i don't know it was just weird it's just this weird color that I don't like. I don't like it. So, I'm going to wear my wigs until um, my hair come back to a color that I like. Yeah, I'm, I'm used to it being short. Like, I really do like my hair short. As a matter of fact, I need a haircut. Because it's just growing like I need the to the sides to be tapered. Um but I just don't like the color. Oh, you about to go to bed, Kay? Yeah, I'm I'm gonna go too. How long we been on here? Almost an hour. I like to keep them at an hour. So I do like short hair. Yeah, I, w I will not order another uh, high density 
wig. Now that I know what high density is, I mean, it's cool for ponytails and stuff. If you want to wear a ponytail, it's cool to have um, high density so that your ponytail won't look super thin. But it's that's a lot of hair to um, wear down. And I know some people don't care. They be out here, you know, with hair all down their back like, girl, we know that's not your hair. And they don't care, but I do. Like, I just don't want to be out here with a whole, whole bunch of hair because I just don't think for my age, it it just don't look right to me now. If you think it looks right on you, then do you. But when I, okay, KK, thank you for coming by, sweetie. Um, when I, when I say things like that, I'm not talking about how it looks on other people. I'm talking about how it looks on me. I don't, you know, I don't like a whole, whole lot of hair. I don't like to, um, wear it down on me. I think it looks cute in pictures. Like, when I be taking my little uh, Snapchat uh, pictures, you know, put put my filter on and take my pictures, I think it look cute. But as far as just, like, you know, wearing it out in public and stuff, yeah, I'm not going to do that. That's just really not my style. So, that's it, y'all. Um, y'all know that the Mary Jane thing is still going on. Um, she has not released a statement. She has not made a video. They, I mean, they, uh, the last, uh, video that I saw from one of the victims said that she did contact the police in London. I think Mary Jane is supposedly in London right now, and she said she did contact the police in London to file a report on her. So this, you know, situation has really gotten big. And I'm really surprised that none of the real T channels have um, picked up the story yet and talked about it. But I'm pretty sure they are, you know, gathering information they're probably doing their research so that when they do come out and talk about this situation um they will have all of the information if i was mary jane i would just come out at this point and just be like i made a huge mistake i am so sorry and for the people that i hurt i will pay them you know Girl, you got to say something. You cannot just act like this didn't exist. Because this has grown legs and feet. And after a while, it's going to grow wings and it's going to fly. Because it's bad. The, like the victims are coming forward um, telling their stories, the victims are being interviewed by other YouTubers. You know, when something like this happens, YouTubers are going to jump on it because they want the story. They want the views. This is how you get views. Uh, jumping on a story like this, putting her name in the title of your video gets you views this this is the game like you know you're not up here just because you don't have anything to do if you post the video you want the video to um give views uh selsa says she deleted her instagram i can't see her anymore See, I never followed her on Instagram. My spirit had told me from the gate that 
it was something wrong with her. Like she, I don't know. It just, something about her just didn't sit right with me. Like I watched her videos for a while because I thought that her videos were very entertaining. The way she edited, the music that she used. But, but I think, oh, oh, this is what happened. I said something to her in one of her videos about her piling all that oil on her skin. Like she used to wear the rose oil, which she said it was rose oil. This was when she was in Korea. And she was, you know, going to all of these Korean stores using Korean beauty products on her and she is african-american clearly african-american korean stuff that they put on their face is totally different than their skin is totally different from ours whether you want to believe it or not our skin is different so she was piling all of this rose oil and she was like you know, talking about this rose oil like it was the best thing since sliced bread. But she was having all these breakouts and stuff. You know, like her skin, she had acne. And she was piling all that rose oil on her skin. So I was like, in the comments, I said, well, you know, do you think that you're using too much oil on your skin? And she said something a little, you know, she kind of clap back at me and i was like girl well that's your old acne prone oily skin because don't nobody need to and she would be shining like in the videos she would be shining she would she would just look greasy just all that grease on her face and in her hair she would put it in her hair she oh it was just Girl, you walking around here looking like a greased up pig. Just all that grease and stuff. Ew, it was a mess. Yeah, I did hear. Yeah, she has made a lot of uh, colorist uh, statements. You know, just having a... Because he, she even said that when she was in uh, the Asian uh, countries, Korea and Japan or China or wherever she was, she talked about how, you know, because someone asked her, you know, did you have any races? Okay, her video went viral of her getting her hair done, I guess, in China. That video went viral to the point where she was interviewed by BET. And, excuse me, she said that she never had a problem in China. And all of everybody else's videos that I've seen, black people, as a matter of fact, one of my friends used to teach English in, did she do it in Japan? I think so. She taught English for a while in Japan. And at the time, she had very short dreads. And she told me how she used to get on the train going to work and people would not want to sit next to her. Kids would point at her. She said she has been in stores and people have literally touched her hair i mean it it was just ridiculous she said the way um as a black person she was treated in japan extremely racist you know people talking about her and you know not wanting to sit next to her just crazy and so here is um mary jane saying like the complete opposite like oh my god people love me you know people always ask to you know take pictures with me and you know they look at me i've never had i've never you know had a racist incident and i'm sorry i just don't believe that 
I don't. I do not believe her story. I don't know if, I don't know why she would lie, but I always felt that she was lying when um, she said that. And I was like, why do you have to lie? Just, you know, tell your true experience. And a lot of things she said, if you watched enough of her videos, she would catch her own self in a lie. Because she said in one of the videos that she was a virgin. And then a couple of videos later, she said that she got rid of a child. I didn't know virgins got pregnant. Uh, it's only supposed to be one virgin that got pregnant, and that was Mary. So, I, you know, I'm not... Girl... You're in your 20s. You you know, at 20, you don't, I don't know. But that, once I, you know, started catching her in her lies and stuff, I was like, all right, I can't watch this girl. This Let these little young kids that believe any and everything that is posted on YouTube and Instagram because it's kids out here that will believe everything. Everything they see, they believe it. So if she said it, it's got to be true. And so she has a lot of younger people watching her who are, you know, impressed by her and enamored by her and, you know, want to be her, want to travel the world but this young lady that did go on the trip with her said that um, Mary Jane don't have no money. And one video she said that she was a millionaire at 23 or 24 or whatever. I'm a millionaire. That video is still up on her channel now. Yes, yeah, she's a YouTuber. And then in another video, she said she made $60,000 a month on YouTube, and I never checked her social blade to see, you know, like, where she is on YouTube, because for one, it's not that important to me, I really, you know, I'm not into checking people's pockets, but I don't think she is a millionaire, and the young lady that went on the trip with her said that um, she was paying for everything, Mary Jane was asking her for money and, you know, asking her to pay for her room. When she went out, asking her, she, you can become a millionaire by scamming. Now, you definitely can do that. If you scam enough people, you definitely can. But I don't think she has. And I think that her scamming has come to an end. I think... That's why she laying low. She probably think if uh, she lay low, uh, people going to forget about it. But it's too many videos being made about her on YouTube now. Like her entire image has been tarnished. Her name has been tarnished. When you type her name in the search bar, all of these videos come up now about her being a scammer. All of those videos are attached to her. When you type her name in the search bar, you're going to get her. And then under her, you're going to get all of the um, scamming videos. So, her name has been tarnished. Yeah, people all over the world have a very skewed view of black people. So when she said she has never encountered any racism, I felt like either you, you, you're blind or you just don't want to talk about it. And that's fine. If you don't want to talk about it, just say, you know, I have had incidences 
but I prefer not to talk about them. I prefer to keep things um, positive and not bring up the, you know, negative experiences that I've had while I was traveling. Say that. Be honest. Don't say that you've never had anything happen to you because I've had things happen to me here in America. So I can imagine what it would be like if I would travel abroad. Yeah, everybody believes that she is living, um, you know, a glamorous life. She is a jet setter. She's traveling all over the world. She has money. You know, kids or young, young ladies are looking up to her. But, you know, people are saying that a lot of her um, photos are photoshopped and she probably just stays in a hotel and maybe goes to one area in the country and, you know, takes pictures and posts that. Because people, you know, are now going through her videos, scouring her videos, analyzing her videos, you know, saying things like, oh, when she goes to a country, you could tell that she, you know, doesn't really travel around the country. She kind of stays close to the hotel. She may go to one place and, you know, then she's off to the the next destination. Now, that could be because she is traveling alone as a, you know, black woman. She may not feel safe enough to just be out, you know, going to a whole bunch of places. But don't make it seem like everything is perfect if it's really not. Like, be honest with these young ladies who also want to try to travel. You know, tell them some safety tips of um, traveling abroad as a um, single person. Like, I was watching a young lady's uh, video the other day, and she is a, you know, she lives in her RV. She has an RV. And she is living in there by herself. And she made a really good video um, giving some good tips on how, when, and this woman was Caucasian. And she was a, you know, kind of real thin um, Caucasian woman. And she was giving some really good tips about how to stay safe, how to, you know, not bring attention to yourself when you are stopped at like rest stops or, you know, try not to stop at like truck stops and stuff like that. Try to have your tr trip planned out and you're staying in like an RV park that has like a good rating. You know, don't walk at night in areas that you're not familiar. Like she was giving some really sound advice to women who may be traveling um, in the RV by themselves. I've never seen, but see, I can't say. I, I don't think that um, Mary Jane does that because I don't really watch her videos enough to know if she's ever done that. But the videos that I saw, she, you know, makes everything seem like it's, you know, every country that she goes to is roses and unicorns and everybody loves her and she's the most beautiful black girl there. And, you know, she's exuding all of this black girl magic and everybody is flocking to her to get that magic from her. And, you know, we all know that's a lie. Especially now that people have come out and say, you don't even have no money. You be out here begging money from the people that um, meet you after they've already paid $2,000 to come on the trip. This woman said she paid for her Starbucks. She paid for her camel ride. She paid for her dinner. She gave her money for her hotel room. Just all kinds of extras. But see, it couldn't have been me. It could not have been me. I wouldn't have gave her a dime. After I got there, I done paid $2,000 or $2,500 to get there. 
and I get there and you don't even have enough money to buy yourself a Starbucks, I wouldn't have bought it either. It couldn't have been me because I'm on vacation. I would have only had, you know, had my vacation money and this for my Starbucks. It ain't for yours. You rich. You a millionaire. Girl, I would have been throwing. See, you don't want to play with somebody like me because I will throw all, every video that I watched of yours, I will throw it up in your face and be like, girl, we not going to rent a Lamborghini? Like, you was out here renting Lamborghinis and Rolls Royces and stuff, so we we not going to rent one? You ain't got no money? The girl said she didn't even have enough money to pay for her own hotel room. Mm -mm. And, like, one video she was bragging about, you know, being boated out, not flued out, being boated out on the yacht with some young man. And you out here begging women to pay for your hotel? Girl, you hustling backwards. You are hustling backwards. If you got a man and you can't even buy yourself no Starbucks, you are hustling in reverse. You didn't put your car in reverse and you hustling in reverse. Because you showing out, you all on the yacht and everything eating fruit and just grinning and having a good time and then you can't even pay for your hotel? No, sweetheart. You can't even buy a Starbucks? Mm -mm. I can't do it. I I can't. I, I'm, you know, I and I'm not the fronting type person anyway because for one, I don't care how other people view me. I don't care what you think about what type of car I drive or where I live because if I'm happy, that's all that matters because the person that is talking about your car and the fact that you drive an older model car, they're not going to buy you a car. They're not going to pay your car note. So, what does it matter? I don't care how people see me. I don't care how people view me. I don't care what people, you know, think about what I drive, how I live. None of that. I don't, I don't care. And people that do care are never happy. They're never happy. Because they're constantly trying to get more. And this is where that scamming mentality comes in. Because obviously what she's doing is not making enough money for her to live the life that she wants to portray in front of other people. So she has to then figure out a way to hustle, you know, and be a grimy person to get that to make herself look good in front of other people. I don't care. I you you don't like the car that I drive, you're not going to ever ride in the car with me and my husband. You're 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 never like we're in California. You, you're in Tennessee or New York or whatever. So you're never going to ride in that navigator. So it really should not matter to you what we're driving. You know, that's one thing that I want to instill in my grandkids. Like, don't care about what anybody other than the people that are close to you feel about you. Other people outside of the family circle it does not matter what they think about you. If they think your hair is nappy, oh well. Your hair, it, you know, it is. Like, I, I picked my granddaughter up one day. We were going to the store. And she had her hoodie on. I was like, girl, why you got that hoodie on? Hot as it is. And she was like, I don't want anybody to see my hair. Why? Because it's, it's frizzy and it's poofy. Girl, 
your hair is beautiful, okay? It's people out here in this world wishing that they had frizzy, poofy hair. You have frizzy, poofy hair with beautiful edges and everything. When she took the hoodie off, she had did her edges. You know, she had to lay her little edges down, and her hair was cute. It's just poofy and frizzy. That's just the type of hair that you have. You, you're a mixed kid. You're going to have frizzy, poofy hair until you figure out how to tame that hair. But forget these people. These people don't know you. And you in your mind thinking that people are looking at you, half the time people don't even care. And if they do, they're probably actually saying, oh, she has some pretty hair. You know, they're not saying, oh, my God, look at how frizzy her hair is. Like, we put in our minds that other people are looking at us in a negative way, and it's actually us. We are harder on ourselves than other people are, naturally. And if you can get to the point where you really don't give a damn about other people, you will be so much happier. Just get up in the morning, put on what you want to put on, do your hair the way you like it, walk out your front door and live your life. I don't care what people think. I don't. If I cared about what people thought about me, I would not be on the internet. Because people talk about my teeth, they call me old, they they talk about my hair. Teeth I always get and they always call me fat. If I cared about what people said, I would never turn this camera on. Never. Because lately I haven't been, you know, getting a lot of um, bad comments. But I went through this, this period where people was really, you know, just going crazy. But I don't give a damn. Because the people that's going crazy, the people that's talking about my teeth or whatever, they're not going to pay my dental bill. They're not going to put one dime on this dental bill. Not one. So I don't get nothing about them. They can um, kiss my butt, child. And that's how you have to start to live your life. Drive the car that you drive and be happy that you're not walking or catching the bus. Okay? We have a 99 Lincoln Navigator that takes us everywhere we want to go. And I love her. Now, when after we get our house and, you know, we get settled and stuff... I am going to get a car, but not right now. I'm not about to replace my car because somebody is like, oh my God, that's why you driving that old car. Yes, girl, I sure am. And I'm going to keep driving Bessie as long as I can. I ain't riding a bike. I ain't standing, you know, at the bus stop. And I don't see anything wrong with standing at the, at the bus stop. There were times when I've had to take uh, public transportation and got on there just as I would be just as pretty and proud. I don't let people make me feel bad for doing, you know, hell, I can't, especially for things that I can't change. I can't change the car that I want. Now, if you want to, you know, be talking slick with your mouth, behind the scenes, and then, you know, you want to send me the keys to a Mercedes that has my name on it, you can go right ahead and do that. But if you just talking slick at the mouth and you not doing nothing, then you just talking slick at the mouth. And I don't care. Now, if you want to change my situation, then you can do that. But if you're not changing anything, you're just talking. She said she bought a house and full-time traveling. How are you saying? She said she had got an apartment in Paris. 
what happened to what happened to that situation? It's just like because she said that she was gonna be living in Paris full time. So she said she had bought an apartment in Paris. Gizmo. Gizmo. Oh. Um. What are you doing? What is over there he trying to get? So, I don't know what happened to that situation. She ain't bought no house in uh, Paris. Because, from what I understand, she didn't even leave Egypt and go to Paris. She left Egypt and went to England. Because I think that's where she's supposed to be now. But what she need to do, like I said is come on here and apologize. That's what she needs to do. She needs to... What are you doing? I'm looking at you. Oh, I'll get it. I see it. I'll get it. Just wait. I see it. Don't try to get it. I'll get it. His toy... Um. He trying to get his toy and he about to have a heart attack. She needs to give the people their money back. And then, well, she needs to apologize. She needs to apologize to the people that she took money from. Apologize to them and tell them that she is going to make it right. And she needs to come out. And just make a video. She did go on out here and do like James Charles and all these other people when they mess up. Because your true um your true core subscribers are gonna stick with you. Because look at all that stuff that James Charles has done and he still has millions of subscribers. Jeffrey Char Jeffrey Star, look at all of the stuff that he's done, and he still has millions of subscribers. So your core audience that really likes you will stay with you regardless. They don't care. They don't care what you do because they like you. And if you come out and apologize. A lot of people, if you make a sincere apology and people really think that your apology was sincere and well thought out, they will be like, well, at least she apologized. She, you know, she is attempting to make the situation right. That shows a level of maturity that, you know, some people look for. I mean, if she apologizes and pays people back and don't do this again and, you know, I will applaud her. But if you just running from the situation like it didn't happen, you're not going to pay these people back, you're, you're not making the situation no better, then no, girl, that's not how we get down. Because you're going to mess around and take the wrong person money and they're going to slip up behind you and pull your whole head off. Because, see, it's some people you can't play with like that. You, you just can't just take their money. They will find you and hurt you. It's people out here that have been hurt for much less than $2,500. So, the, you mean the girl that was sitting on the floor? The girl that was sitting on the floor? It looked like she was sitting on the floor in like a dorm room or something. And she was saying, I learned my lesson. Just give me my money back. This, this was... This was a lesson for me. I've learned my lesson. Can you just give me my money back? That girl? 
I mean, it wasn't funny. It's not funny when someone is begging. Yeah. Now, now, Moth Mama, honey, it's some people in the beef sector of YouTube, honey, that will find her address. They will find her mama house. They will find, they will go on Facebook and find old pictures of her and all kind of stuff. Because you know what's weird to me? When, um, when she was, when Mary Jane was in, um, China, when, when she was in the Asian countries, I think, was that when I first started watching her? She was skinny. I mean, you know, skinny to the point where her bones were, you know, really pronounced and her arms were, you know, really thin. Like, I know in one of her videos, she said that she, that she wanted to, she was putting on weight on purpose, but see how much of a peanut head? See, my head is not that big. I have a little peanut head. Um, yeah, but she's a lot bigger now. And some people were saying that um, she's photoshopping her. She's photoshopping her pictures to um, make her bottom half, you know, to give her a more curvy um, shape. I know I got my head is really not that big. I a little. And it's, you know, because my hair is short. Now, if I take this out, this wind cap off and fluff my hair up a little bit, it'll make, of course, make my head look a little bit bigger. But my head's not that big. I think I have a small head. And so those wigs fit me perfectly. And if your head is bigger than mine, you ain't going to be able to wear them. I mean, I just, yeah, she did say that she works out. She, um, and she did say that she was trying to gain weight because she didn't, she didn't like herself super skinny. Now, I don't know, child. I don't know if she's photoshopping or if she has um put on a lot of weight but for her to be as skinny as she was I don't know she could be maybe she just eaten a lot and gained weight I mean it is easy to gain weight it's super easy for me to gain weight I mean but I have a thyroid um issue so you know my body is just like a weight magnet. I can eat a tic tac, tic tac, and gain two pounds. I'm I'm getting off of that. Um, my iced tea addiction. I'm I'm gonna stop that, and I'm gonna kick sodas in everything because um, I don't want to gain. I can't gain any weight. I done already bought my swimsuits for. This season, and I, uh, 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 I'm wearing my swimsuit. So, well, her thighs and stuff look bigger. Like she looks bigger on the bottom. In one picture, okay, somebody did do a YouTube video, and was like trying to figure out if her curves were photoshopped. And they were, like, comparing what she looks like now to, like, what she used to look. I, I don't know. I, I don't watch all of the videos that people are making about her. But I do, you know, I have watched the ones where some of the victims um, came forth. And I watched this one video where 
this guy from he he has a British accent, but he well, what is it UK accent? Um, cause he could be from anywhere with that accent. Um, compared Mary Jane to some Caucasian young lady who I guess is a traveler also. And I really didn't like his video. Like, his video was just like, did did black people let Mary Jane down? Like, we ain't had nothing to do with what that girl was doing. Mary Jane made the choice to do what she did. That didn't have nothing to do with black people. So... You're not going to blame me for what this girl out here doing. If she wanted to scam, that was on her. That doesn't have anything to do with the black culture. That's that's a decision that she made. That's a wrong decision that she made. That don't have nothing to do with none of us. So I really didn't like his video. It was interesting, but... Um, I ain't like it. So I'm not watching all of the videos. So what time is it? It's 7.30. I guess my husband ain't coming home today and I ain't heard from him. Daddy not coming home, Gizmo? Daddy not here? Huh? Daddy not coming? Because usually if he was coming home for lunch, he'd have been here by now. Well, no, sometimes he'd come a little bit late. So, I'm finna go, y'all. I'm tired of talking. My mouth done got dry. I'm about to go out here and see what my father-in-law cook for dinner. And that's one thing, too. We got to move, because my father-in-law be cooking. That food be tempting, and I be wanting to eat. That's probably why I ain't got any weight. My father-in-law be out there cooking all that good food, smelling all good. Because I sure smell some cornbread. He probably made some um, cabbage and uh, cornbread. If he made some cabbage and cornbread, I'm definitely going to eat a little bit of that. But that's it, y'all. We'll come back tomorrow. Tomorrow, for sure, um, I'm going to do some cards. So, make sure you... Uh, come to the live tomorrow if you want a reading. I'm going to do a few for free. And if you want a more detailed reading, then you have to email me and set up an appointment. And we can go from there. But girl, that cornbread smells. I know it's cornbread because I smell it. It smells so good. So... I'm about to go see what we are eating, and I'm going to eat, and probably call my husband and see where he is. I really want some iced coffee. I wonder, did he make some coffee this morning? Because if there's some coffee left, I don't know. I'm not supposed to be drinking coffee for a while, so maybe I'll just make some tea. You got anything you want to say? Because you all in my mouth. You want to say something? Huh? Come here. Come here. Come here, Gizmo. He ain't coming. Okay, y'all. I will see you guys tomorrow. I love you. Thank you so much. Please give me a thumbs up. And when this video uploads, can you guys go over there and just say, hey, Okay, you, you're not supposed to be drinking that coffee all day. Coffee all day is not good for your um, digestive system in the long run. Like, you may be fine now, but in the long run, over a long period of time, that coffee starts to, that caffeine and stuff, and the acid in coffee starts to mess up your um digestive system so you gotta be cool with the coffee because it will mess your stomach up that's why i'm 
just kind of giving myself a break from coffee for a little while because my acid reflux has been acting up. And really, when you have these like acid reflux um, issues, you're really supposed to stay away from caffeine, period, in any acid uh, type, any drinks that produce um, acid. So, try to limit your coffee to, like, one a day. Yeah, coffee is not, it's not good for, and co coffee is not good for anything. It's just like nicotine. It's just not good for you, period. I mean, it's too acidic. The stomach doesn't, you know, the stomach really has a hard time uh, processing it. Your body has a hard time processing the caffeine. So, yeah. It's, it's really not good for you. I really limit myself to uh, one cup in the morning, and that's it. Um, I need to go back to drinking my uh, decaf or just staying away from it, period. So I'm trying to go this week uh, with no coffee. To I have my green tea, and I have another tea. We, we got a whole bunch of tea in this house. My husband drinks Tension Tamer. That's really good. Tension Tamer is really good. He usually drinks that at night. So I'm trying to... I'm not really a tea person, but I'm trying to get into uh, tea and not coffee in the morning. So I will see you guys tomorrow. I love you. Um... When I upload this video, if you see it later on this evening, even if you don't do anything but just go on there and put a little heart or say hi or something, that um, helps to boost the uh, algorithm for the channel. So I will see you guys tomorrow. I love you. Bye.